I would like to tell you how to add a Cisco IP phone to uh, Cisco IP soft phone or uh, it could be an IP phone also to a Cisco call manager. I did a fresh installation of Cisco, latest Cisco software. Okay, uh, I will just show you the version number. Okay, about okay, this is my version 10.5. Okay, okay, uh, currently I'm running the Cisco CUCM on I'm currently I'm running Cisco CUCM on virtual machine. Okay, on my laptop. Okay, uh, currently I'm running. Uh, two VMs also on the laptop and one CUCM which is uh, currently on my own machine. I have already registered two IP phones, so I'm going to register third one. Okay, I will show you how to register an IP phone. Uh, the IP phone that I'm going to register is on this virtual machine. Okay, uh, uh, the virtual machine name is PC442. Let me add the IP phone. Okay, for for adding any IP phone, you require to have a device ID. Device ID almost meaning every time start from SCP. It could be MAC address or uh, meaning it uh, could be hardware meaning not software hardware phone. Okay, let me add that. For adding a Cisco IP phone, first you require to go under device, go to phone. Uh, in the couple of videos, I'm going to show you how to make a call search space and device pools and all stuff. So it will be much easier for okay. But based on I'm going to upload my tutorial in the coming weeks. So I'm going to select Cisco IP communicator. Uh, phone time I'm going to select a CCP skinny phone. Okay, I'm not going to select a SIP phone right now. Okay, let me start. This. Okay, I will show you how in the later videos I will show you how to add a SIP phone. To. Description. It's in my lab phone. Okay, make it PC four four two. Okay, this is similar PC name. I, so I don't have a select a default pool, so I'm going to select a default. I don't have. I didn't create any default pool. Okay. So right now I'm going to select a phone button template. Okay, I'm going to select a standard phone button. Uh, it's gonna be here. CIP, C Cisco, standard Cisco. Okay. Once I enter, I have to enter the security space. Device security profile. Okay, I'm going to use a Cisco IP standard profile. I didn't create any profile, so much better. We can create the profile. I will show you how to create profile in later videos. Oh, for sorry, I forgot to enter user ID. So by default, uh, another video I will show you how to make a user ID. But right now I'm using anonymous. Okay, click apply. Apply means that once you're going to apply the configuration, it's going to apply. Apply the configuration. Okay, uh, it's going to apply. See, our phone will get registered now. Okay. Let's see if it's getting registered. See one thing in the meantime the phone string I will show you. Okay, let's go back to device. I will add the DN line later on. Just I will show you. See it is showing unregistered. Still another phone is not registered here. The register registered. Okay, let me go back to my phone. Okay, let me see the preference of TFTP service. Okay, uh, I am using the preference. Okay, F93. Just a minute. Yes, see. Okay, let me see if it should be getting registered now. Okay. Yes, see, it got registered. Okay. I will just show you the new message. Okay. Uh, device phone. It got registered, but it doesn't have any uh, DDI facilities right now, like any line facility. Okay, there is no line showing here, as it's showing here. Okay. Uh, we can have around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lines here in the phone. I'm not going to create. I'll, I'll try to create at least two lines. I'll just show you how we're gonna create. Okay, let me start creating line. For creating a line, okay, we have already registered the phone. Now register doesn't have any DID facility. Let me add. To add a line, you have to add just okay. Add new DN number. New DN number. You can specify DN number. Okay, let me specify seven two zero three one. Okay, three one. You can specify any search space that you require. 
we are going to uh, select a non route part partition because currently we are not going to play with partition in the later future i'll show you how to play with route partition route partition is a partition which allow you to direct the call based on the number description it's a let's say it's a pc 442 phone alerting pc 442 pc 44 this will be shown once you're going to once anybody is going to call in this number okay i'm going to put this ascii value here okay this ascii value will tell you okay what caller id will be displayed i'm going to use pc 442 here pc 442 line label i don't require right now click save okay that's cool let's see if our ip phones get an ip I think so C is going to configure unified okay it's got 7023 let's uh, see my extension is 72001 let's see if we can dial number on that 7200 see I'm getting a call from PC222 okay it's showing PC442 okay that's good I'm not going to answer it because okay let me dial this number 72301 okay sorry sorry say my number is wrong 72031 uh -huh, voice pins displaying 7200 because here i didn't specify 72001 let me specify my name here this is the one okay Seven. so here i just need to specify here caller id let me specify my name zahid zahid i'm going to specify line go okay i will save it and apply configuration it's much better to every time you do the configuration chain uh, we have to apply the configuration to sysco performance now let me do it. see is my phone got registered okay i'm going to read that okay so working seven two zero seven okay confirm it's taking some time seven two zero see not displaying my name okay Okay, this is this is how we register. This is exactly how we register the IP phones. Okay, I'm going to discontinue my call right now. This is if you have any question, please ask me question via YouTube. Okay, please subscribe to my channel. Okay, if you want to view further videos. Thanks a lot for watching my video. Bye.